Good evening, everybody. Last Saturday, I attended Memorial Student Leadership Conference. It was a whole day event for students who would like to um, take on a leadership role and improve their leadership skills, networking, communication skills. And there were so many interesting speeches and presentations given by the um, guest speakers. And I learned so much about them. And one of the speakers, Gary Summers, he gave a speech on thinking differently. And um, he played a song um, named Dash, which I've never ever heard in my life before. And, and it inspired me a lot. So I really wanted to share it with you tonight. But before that, I would like to uh, summarize his speech, he, his 40 minute speech in, in a few minutes. Um, Attitude. Your attitude is determined by your thinking. And attitude is what you focus on. You must focus on the right things you did or you do. And you, you must focus on what you can do well instead of what you can't do. And complaining doesn't make anything better. Because if you keep complaining, the world is not going to care. And if you cry about it, the world will give you more to cry about. You must focus on what you have in life instead of what you don't. Visualization. Your brain has two parts. Your right brain is, is the part that processes the images, whatever you think about, whatever you think of. That's, that's how you how your right brain works. You must focus on or visualize or think about positive, bright, and not negative images so that your left brain does the processing into positive, bright thinking. And you must have goals in life. And when you have goals, you have to write them down. That, that's what he said. If you don't write it down, you will forget it. And if you write it down, stick it in your fridge or next to your bed, you will remember it every day and you have to stick to it. And your goals must be smart, which means it must be, um, it must be specific, it must be measurable, it must be tenable, it must um, also be um, reliant and relevant. And it also must be in time bound. If you don't have any time bound, it will go on forever. And your thought process. There are many people out there who are trying to bring you down or who are trying to chase you with so many negative thoughts, but you must be the only person who don't let these things or these people affect you in a negative way. And you must not create issues to yourself. There are so many things or people around you creating issues to yourself, but you must be the one person who have this wall around you, not letting these people in with negative thoughts. You must live with or be friend with a positive people around you. And you also must have a very expensive brain, which means those people around you must pay a lot to upset you and the behavior. Always use positive words instead of using the negative words. For example, instead of saying don't be late, say be on time. And instead of using don't eat that food, just say please eat that food because that's healthy. And words such as try, I try, I hope, I guess, they are negative or struggle words. So you must use the positive and confident words. Making assumptions. Making assumptions about the future events in a negative way is the biggest mistake you make. Because unless you have a crystal ball or unless you are psychic, you don't know that's exactly going to happen. So you just immediately believe that you have this assumption, negative assumption, and you immediately believe that that's exactly what's going to happen. So you must not make any assumptions 
unless you know it or unless you have facts. Power and wisdom. Power is doing the right thing and wisdom is knowing the right thing and you must have both to succeed in life. And Dash, this poem, is written by um, Linda Ellison and some of you might have heard of it before. I would like to uh, finish up this uh, short speech by reading the poem to you. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of his friend. He referred to the dates on her tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that the first came to the date of her birth and spoke of the following date with tears, but he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that she spends alive on earth, and now only those loved her know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less cute to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that the special dash might only last a little while. So when your urology is being read with your life's, life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? Thank you. <laughs>